Hello everyone. From couple of days, I was facing one issue uh, with uh, Jira endpoints. So I am trying to show it what was the mistake. I found the mistake and then uh, now I have the fix. So what happens is I have a Jira tool like like this. Okay, so I have a Jira tool and uh, using Jira tool we can also manage the ITSM and all. So I was uh, trying to do the group creation from API. So APIs are not working. Okay, I, when I seen it, the APIs are failing to do so. Yeah, so I've opened my project. This is how it shows in Jira. Okay, and then here you can go and then uh, get your uh, uh, get your this one like what you called groups. So here you can see the groups and I can create a group here. Okay, so you can directly create a group like okay escape X Okay group So this is normally we do it, but when I try to attempt it from uh, Postman, okay, it was failing. So how I tried in postman is so here. This is the endpoint I need to pass Okay, so it is there in the Jira do API documentation how to take the endpoint and all so this is my endpoint I started my endpoint and I given the authentication Okay so authentication is my login ID and then uh, an API key. This is very, very tricky and very, very confusing here. Okay, this is where I failed so many times. So authentication side, endpoint I passed and authentication ID password I passed and headers, common headers, everyone knows them. And body, uh, Jira group creation is required an input called name. Okay, so I given like this. So what endpoint I passed is, service no docu uh, Jira documentation will suggest to get the endpoint from here okay so you go here and generally there are two api keys will be available in jira general what i did is i went to settings and then uh, api key so here few documentation will tell you to create an api key like this okay so i say hello okay and then uh, it will say to create an hello and with an expiry date you can keep one up to one year expiry date so i just keep it something like this and then it generates an api so this is an api key so this one, this API key I just created is the API key that is I created from settings, security settings, right? So here is the confusion. Let's let me show you. Okay, so this one I created from settings and API key. Okay, and generally uh, the authentication we need to pass the API key. That's what uh, we everywhere we see the documentation. So I have the endpoint Okay, I have the basic authentication. I have the user ID. This is the user ID which you uh, used to log into the Jira Okay portal Right and password is an API key with a basic authentication. So I try to give it Okay, and then send it So every time I was doing it it was failing with 401 error 401 error because 401 error is an authentication failure if you invalid uh, Lee pass or uh, send the ID and password you get the a uh, 40 error. It's saying like unauthenticated Okay, so it is saying user ID password is wrong. So This is where the confusion is every documentation will just to tell you like pass the API key But they don't tell you what exactly the API key you need to pass Okay, so if you generally go to settings and API keys and then to generate it, it is it is wrong API key. Okay, so what is actually API key is you need to go to the profile of your Jira Okay, and then account settings Right once you go to the account settings here you have something called security Right the security Under security you have okay create and manage API keys. So here you can create an API key You come here and API key security okay, create a new API key the box also will give you like this It won't give you the other box. Okay so it's a simple label just say uh, sk okay sk fax jira sk fax jira api okay and then create it and even it creates an api key like this so you can copy paste it it's very important to copy because one if you don't copy it you can't store it so this is from uh, this is from security correct security api right you paste it here okay make sure that you paste it properly before you say save or stop. okay here okay so you pasted it and then close so you see here this is created today and never accessed okay and this is an api key from security so now 
give this API key in your authentication. So same endpoint is same. Okay, user ID is same, but password this one is an API key which you created from setting. This is must. Okay, verify that you pass the right one. Okay, and you are asking system to go there, go to the endpoint, go to the group table of Jira, and then create a group. Okay, the name of the group is SKFX group. So SKFX group, I will say. Okay, maybe some uh, notation today. Okay, uh, 0, 1, 10, 23. I'll just give it. Okay, I, I look for this particular group to be created. So before that, I go to Jira and then I will go to the groups and then I will verify whether the group is already there or not. Okay, so how to go? Uh, yes, administration. You have administration under administration, it will show users and groups. Okay, yeah, so select a project. right i think it is in delivery okay, directory so here we have only two groups now one i created just now and one it is already there okay now i am hitting the endpoint right the end, end point if i create it first thing is our issue our issue we should get maybe 200201 success okay so now see i passed the security based api key okay and then sending it so now this api key is a valid api key Okay, so it took 201, 201 means authentication success and you took the body and from the body we sent this one. So now you go to Jira and then just very refresh it whether the group is created or not. Okay, so I went to my project and then I sent the groups. Okay, so once after I created it, here you can see the group is created. So I went to the groups, directory, groups and I was in a project, a Slither Quota project. So here it is, it, the project will replicate in my ID. Okay, Slither Quota dot this one, right? So here the group is created. So the main problem which I was facing it with an API key is fixed now. The API key which normally, okay, we confuse like we need to create from settings and an API key. Both looks almost same, but the actual key which we need to use it is security API key. So in Jira portal, you need to navigate to security and then create an API key. This is very important point. Hope everyone understood this requirement and then uh, avoid the confusion, okay? Because uh, it's too confusing and when we are doing it for first time, it will give you a lot of uh, issue. Okay, you need to go to your profile here and then uh, click on that profile and then security and then here you need to create a API key. This page, you can keep it in mind. Hope this one, this video will help so many people because whoever are practicing for service no Jira integration or uh, API testing for Jira, okay? This is where many people will stuck and I see in so many uh, uh, documentation and questions raised in the communities also. Okay, like uh, we stuck here, we stuck here with the 401 error. So hope this one will uh, help so many people. Thank you everyone. Bye.